Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is video number 11. We are continuing to make a school management system. And in this video, we are going to make another form with a similar methodology. And um, but before I begin, I must ask you that uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not and hit the bell icon so you got notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, join my channel as a member to support me and support my channel and support my work give me some motivation so i can continue making these videos um i hope that you take something from this channel and um and and and, and there's a lot coming up for example i'm going to start video series for the sharepoint microsoft lists power automate sql so there is a lot of exciting stuff coming up so um to make these videos you need you know it takes effort it takes time and it's take a lot of thought process so please make sure uh, that you join the channel as a member you can join it uh, from desktop uh, if you're using laptops etc or mobile phone even um, uh, that would be great anyhow let's get back to our today's topic and uh, today i'm going to make um, I've already actually made this form. The structure is the skeleton is there. I just have to bind this form and these controls to the data, which means we will be using VBA uh, to transfer the information from this form to the table, to the database, and then fetch the information as well whenever it needed. So that's what we are going to do. And um, let's continue. And the purpose of this form is basically to create the information uh, related to exam category for example you know schools and institutes uh, academies they they uh, have monthly exam midterm exam annual exam you know after every semester there is an exam so it is required as part of the LMS or school management system so that's why I have created this uh, exam category form now let's go ahead and uh, let's do the VB coding behind these two buttons and then behind this uh, list box as well to achieve whatever we wish to achieve. So I'll right click here, design view, and I'll click on add new. We'll go to the event tab, dot, dot, dot. And here we are in the VB editor. I already have uh, a block code for the error handling and uh, we will begin uh, writing our code. So first thing we need to check, we need to validate whether there is a information exist in this text box or not. If not, then through a message box. If yes, then proceed and create a record. Now this is, bear in mind, this is, um, this is not linked to any database. So there's no record source. So this is unbound form, okay? So we'll, what we'll do, we'll uh, start with if nz me dot, not nx, nz me dot exam category equals double quote, double quote, then to cmd dot b message box, please provide the exam category. All right, now we be critical and it would be an informational message. Okay, if that's false, then uh, else go ahead and proceed the record. Now to create the record or to transfer the information from the Microsoft forms to the database to the table, what we will do, we will use the record sets. And to use record set, we have to declare the variable. So to declare variable, we'll start with Tim RS create, okay, um, as record set. Okay, there we go. Now we'll come here and we'll say set RS create equals current DB dot open record set principle open principle close and what is the name of record set it is the table where we are going to store this information so just to avoid any spelling mistake i usually copy and paste the name of the table <coughs> excuse me and then we will move on and we will actually create the record uh, add the record so uh, rs create dot i wonder what say you Hmm. Set RS create. Okay. Let me copy this. Add. And there is an issue somewhere. 
Okay, so I'm using. All right, see, that's the problem. I have to use the spelling correctly. Now we will get add new. There we go. These things happen. So, you know, and, and, and it happened with me. So <laughs> it's a learning and we're learning together. That's why. Anyway, let's move on. And once we have uh, opened the database table, our record set, we have asked the Microsoft Access to get ready to add the record, get ready to add the information. What information now Microsoft Access is required from us is the name of the fields from where the information will go to where. Okay, so we want that whatever is in in these three text boxes, it should flow to in these three fields of the database table. So that's why we will say RS create exclamation mark exam category. So we are referring to our database and uh, in that table in this particular uh, field. And now we'll say from where this information will come from this text box. So we'll say me dot cat exam category. That's it. So we'll copy that. We'll paste it uh, two times. And in here, we'll say, oh, I'll give it back. Um, next one is status and then status date. Okay. So status will come from the status field. And the status date will be coming from the status date field. Now, the question is, what does me dot status equals to? What does me dot status state equals to? At the moment, they both are equal to nothing. So we have to give information here. So me dot status equals uh, active. Me dot status date equals. Oops, not 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 this. Format now comma. And then double quote, double quote, date, month, year. Okay, there we go. All right. So now, whatever date we are creating and the active, it will capture here and it will be transferred to the table. After this, what we have to do is we have to update our record set so it gets saved. And then we will close our record set. Make sure when you are done adding or editing, modifying the data, make sure that you close the record set. It's very important. Then we will throw a message box for the confirmation. So do cmd.beep message box. The record has been created successfully. Okay. And uh, we'll go to the come here comma vb information because this is success and the title of the message box will be information now what i would like to do is i would like to requery this list box as well so the list box auto populates this information me dot list dot requery okay after this what i would like to do is i would like to clear out these text boxes as well so we'll say me dot exam categories equal to double quote me dot status equals double quote double quote me dot status date equals double quote double quote right and that will clear out the text boxes i think we are done uh, let's uh, let's see and let's uh, debug it if there is any error nothing seems to be a uh, wrong so we are okay and uh, Let's move on to our next button, which is update. So to update record, what we need, we need this unique ID. So what Microsoft Access will do, it will take this ID, whatever is visible here, it will go in the table and it will try to find out whether that record with that ID exists or not. If yes, then it will proceed and update the record in here. Okay. Now, oops. <laughs> okay. By the way, subscribe, join. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, go to the update button. We'll uh, go to the event tab dot dot dot, and uh, we will we will uh, first locate the unique ID. So we'll say if nz me dot exam cat ID, which is unique ID equals to double quote double quote, then do cmd dot beep 
message box please choose record to proceed further okay and we'll say we be critical and information all right now if that's a false then we'll go to and we will update the record and to do that we'll use record set so dim rs update as record set okay then we will set the variable we'll say set rs update equals current db dot open record set parenthesis open parenthesis close double quote double quote and we will um, we will hopefully i'm typing the correct name because i'm always uh, i always do the mistake here exam category t exam category t all right that's okay now we will actually go ahead and update the record but first we have to find that record right so rs update dot find first and in here we will say uh, find exam category id exam cat id right exam cat oops make sure spellings are correct otherwise you are going to get errors so that's why i copy and paste emphasize me dot exam cat id once that is found then go ahead and edit so i'll say rs update dot edit okay and then here also rs update dot update mm -hmm. okay and then we'll say rs update dot close as well once that is updated now notice i have kept this place empty and you know what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the entire thing from here rather than i type it again and i paste in here right to save yours and my time but make sure that you change this rs create to rs update that's very very important now after this i will i would like to throw a message box as well to give a confirmation to the user that the record has been updated so to do that and by the way i do need everything so i'll copy that and i'll paste in here and in here in i will add the exam category id equals double code double code all right so these uh, this these line of codes will clear out the controls the text box and the combo box etc and uh, this i have already explained but the message will be changed the record has been updated not created but because we are updating the record here now let's save it and let's debug it okay nothing seems to be wrong now second last or the last uh, activity second last by the way activity is we will we will need to fetch the record from the table onto this list box to do that i will go to the event tab of this form on load event dot 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 and we already have a bit of code already there so here we will say select we'll use the select statement of the sql statement sql and we will select exam id we'll select category we'll select status we'll select status date okay from where from exam category exam category t okay that's the table name how many columns four columns right one two three four that's it first column we do need but we will hide it second column is exam category we will need so we'll keep it uh, width as four centimeters the third one is status so we'll keep th three centimeters the last one we, d we do need but we will kind of hide it now that is done now when the user double clicks on this list box the record should auto populate onto the form as well so on double click event we'll go to dot 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 and in here we'll say me dot exam category id equals 
me dot list dot column zero so it stores in the column number zero the list box how do i know you can see it here all right so i'll uh, copy this a couple of times and we'll say one two three all right now next step is exam category and then status and then status date there we go that's it we are done let's give a little bit of uh, beep response also so user will know something has happened all right let's save it uh, save it and okay there we go let's uh, close this close this okay now time to test all right now let's see yep yeah okay that's working exam category so for example we'll start with monthly exam click on add new there we go by the way this exam i deliberately put e at the last reason uh, because i want to demonstrate whether the update function works or not so i'll remove e which is the right way right spelling and now i'll update it and we are getting a message box okay something for sure is wrong so what is wrong let's see we'll go to the update button and we will try to find out what could possibly be the wrong uh, what message we are getting all right exam id update dot find first here we go this is the problem right you see i forgot this i should not and here we will have db open diner set right this is this is very very important because if you don't add the record will not be i mean it will throw an error it might update the record but it will every time throw an error now let's check it out whether this was the issue uh, or not so let's see i bring back the e and i update let's see yeah that was the issue right so because uh, access works in a logical manner so we have to provide those logics anyhow so this is how you uh, in, in the form you buy with the unborn form you actually uh, uh, use the vba record set sql statements to transfer the data from the forms to the database i hope that you have learned something if you have not even if you have and if you have not please do that below in the comments below and uh, if you liked whatever you have seen smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload any video i think i'm repeating it again but that's okay <laughs> and uh, that's it for today i'll see you in the next one